Welcome back to one of our series on uh, Dollarama cards that we hear uh, from Pristine. Um, basically, what we're looking for today is we are going to go forth and look and see what pre-modern cards you get in these repacks. As well as we'll show off the rares and things along those lines. But we are looking for the pre-modern um, type cards. See if we get any white border cards or anything along those lines in here. Um, any of them would be ideal because I think I'm going to start uh, picking up some of the pre-modern stuff. Because I don't really feel like playing modern anymore. I was thinking about getting into Commander. But I was also thinking about all the different combos that you could get in these. In Commander and that sort of thing as well. So I don't know. I'm just going to move this off to the side here. And we're going to take a quick look through here. Of some of the stuff you get for a big whopping $4 at Dollarama. You get Riptide Turtle. Um, Traveler's Amulet, uh, Mountain Blaze, Chimera, Reckless Imp. Oop, there's a, well, it's older, but it's not still, it's not the set that I'm after. We have a Mountain, um, so you do get basic lands in the most of stuff. Um, there's a Rubble Belt Rioters, or the Spark, um... Yeah, so we do have a uh, Poison Belly Org, Oaken Form. Uh, that, I'm not, I don't believe that is part of the older sets. It could be, but I don't think so. We should probably take a look at the symbols first and the start of these videos. I'm uh, still looking for rares. There's one that might fall in that list of goodies I wish they would put these in one way around there's a couple of uncommons so far in here there's another uncommon from Modern Masters heightened reflexes is this our rare? no it's a foil so we got an eternal taskmaster from uh, War of the Spark that's kind of cool it's a foil Top of the statue, wandering strike. Uh, let's see here, Burton Bright. Oh, that oh, might be one. I don't think so, but so we do have like a good random number of cards in here. Oh, mirrored on. This place. AV technician. So we do, it does come, there's one legendary creature so far that I've seen. So, like, buying these, you might find some decent commanders out of it. You might not. I don't know how uh, the captain of the pre, uh, Preless is, is in the, as a commander, but uh, so far there might be commanders in here. I don't know. There's a flying specter. It's a headless specter. Ooh. Youthful Knight for Strike. Thriving Rats. So it doesn't include the most recent two or three sets, but it does include a lot of other sets. Ooh, there's another foil in here. So, okay. There's one of an older set in there, Drooling... Uh, Grudion. So it has like M19 in it, and it's got a few other types of sets in here. There's an enchantment, Omen of the Hunt, Wolf Query, Blaskalis, Plummet, Volcanic Brawler. Sorry if there's too much reflection on this. I'm trying my best to make sure that it's viewable and whatnot for everybody. But it doesn't look like there's any white-bordered cards in amongst this stuff, which is kind of a bummer. Um, destroy target land is another land destruction. Here's our foil from Ultimate Masters. Think twice. Common foil, but hey, 
any foils of foil amongst all this stuff. Law, Law Rune Enforcer. Uh, M21 Muradin, I believe. Erase. Wicked Guardian, Mine Rot. Invading Manacore. I don't recall seeing any rares. Maybe it's just going to be foils. Maybe I missed it. If anybody else has saw the rare that was here. like Here's an M10 from uh, a giant growth version. Hijack. Um, Elemental's Courage. Uh, Meteor Golem. So no white bordered cards in the monks. The first hundred. Let's open up the second hundred and see what we get inside here. We're on the hunt for older cards. Pre-modern age cards. There might be a couple that I might have went past. I should have looked at the where the marker was for the sets before I started this video and been able to pull out what was I'm looking for. Cutthroat Maneuver. There's a forest. Basic land from an older set. A swift response from M21. I'm losing the cards here. Spark Mage's Gambit. Omen of the Hunt. There's a lot of repeats in and amongst the stuff. Like this is the second pack we're open. And that's the second Omen of the Hunt that we've picked up. Um, some of these cards are not in 100% perfect shape. But what do you want for four bucks from a dollar store? There's a grave digger. And what do we have? Okay, so the one card that they put in here is either a foil or a rare. So a dependable pack. Target player draws X cards and loses and loses you duh and loses X life. I like that card with the um nowadays. You have all the life gain stuff in that uh, in the decks nowadays. That would be good for uh, someone who is playing uh, Vito or something along those lines in their modern deck. It would be. So we do have some non-basic land in here as well. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of older stuff. Like, yeah, it's M15. Okay, so 5, 10 years old in that sense. But... Uh, I wouldn't jump too far into some of this stuff if you're looking for the older stuff. Um, there's another basic land. Yeah, I haven't come across anything that jumps out at me and saying that, hey, look, I'm pre-modern. Might be the odd card. I'm not sure if um, one card there, um, I can't remember the name of it now. I look at the cards and there's no shine on them but when my camera shows the uh, cards there's a reflection on them like you see there's a reflection on those cards but well, the way I look at it with my eyes right now there's no reflection on that card so sorry if things go a little amiss but I don't see any uh, sort of There are common cards. There's uncommons in here. But there is no... There's probably a... Oh, it's another rare. So this one had two rares. The other one had two foils. As its inserts. Or special cards in them. Hammer dropper. Struggle, survive. Struggle deals dex damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. Now, if you had a lot of land, if you're playing green, and you're playing a red-green deck, you might have a lot of land out by the time you play that card. But it only does, it's too bad it's not to target player. It would be better if it was target player than target creature, but. Yeah, I'm scrolling through all these cards, and I don't see any pre-modern, there's another basic land. 
uh, cards in amongst this stuff. It's all seems to be modern based cards. Which will go good with what I'm trying to do and make up play sets to sell online. Uh, you can see the link below in our video and that sort of sense for our online stores access and whatnot. As well as the cards that we're looking for once I get the list online of course. But anyways, that concludes this video in regards to this is what our video was today. 100 trading cards, Magic the Gathering cards. At four dollars, you know, just the four dollars from Dollarama, but uh, Pristine made these up, so uh, Pristine uh, has made up a bunch of dollar store stuff that we can open up. And it says on the back here, if anybody's really looking at this anymore, um, enclosed as genuine trading cards, uh, has been legally purchased and repackaged for sale by Pristine Marketing Inc. This package may include duplicates, doesn't say that it may include rares or commons or uncommons or anything along those lines. But from what I found, there's either a rare per 50 cards or a foil per 50 cards. That's it from this video. Uh, feel free to uh, come back and watch some more videos at a later date. Thanks for watching. Bye.